We want to give a special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. What's up, y'all? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff and a long time Briar fan. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Briar Craft products. There's a variety of Briar Craft and activity kits. Look, I'm even on the packaging! On the back of each one, we can scan the QR code and get crafty. This is the Horse Family Paint and Play. Ooh, we get a family of stable mates. Inside, we will find two horses, one horse full, one paintbrush, three paints, and a painting tips guide. On the back, it says paint your very own horse family. And that is just what we're gonna do. Out of the box, we have everything we need for this project. And there are a few optional supplies we can get at home. Like a cup of water, paper plates or a paint palette to mix colors, paper towels, and clear nail polish to make the eyes look real. Before we get started, we can look through the painting tips guide to get some inspiration for painting our horse family. Ooh, look at all the facial markings. Now we just have to pick out a horse and start painting. I'm using black paint to paint one of the horses all black. When I first started painting model horses, all my horses were black. <laughs> because for me, this is the easiest one to do. All you have to do is paint thin layers of black paint, letting it dry between each one. Look for areas that need a few touch-ups. I added the tiniest touch of white paint to the back of the eye. Then I'm going to clean it up with more black paint, allow it to dry, then add a little touch of clear nail polish for a shine. And our black horse is done. On the next horse, I'm gonna leave some large white patches. So first, I plan out the areas that I would like to leave white. Then I go back and start filling in the black. We can leave the white areas white, or we can go over them with the white paint, allowing some of the color to overlap to make a pinto. For the foal, let's paint a combination of the two horses. I can paint the body black and leave the lower half of the legs white for stockings and a blaze down the face, giving us a happy little family of horses. And if we want to take it a step further, we can use our horses to make a decorative picture frame using scrapbook paper, foam board, string, and a mini clothespin. Glue scrapbook paper onto foam board or cardboard, glue it onto another piece of foam board so it can stand on its own. Cut a piece of string or twine, glue it so it hangs across the scrapbook paper, use a mini clothespin to hang a picture, add a couple of plants at the bottom because I love greenery, and a model horse or two so we can display our real horses and our painted ones. Best of all, this can also work as a backdrop for our model horse photography. Just clear everything away. I can lay down some scrapbook paper to look like sand, then place my model in front of the wall to take a few photos. However you choose to decorate your horse family, be sure to have fun and get creative. To learn more about Briar and the real horses who inspire us, visit the Briar website at www.briarhorses.com. And we will see you next time.